This Fit Friday, we're going to talk about jumping jacks and leaking because this is another super, super common problem, but one that can be changed so easily. I mean, just with a little bit of work, like with all rehab, it's got to be specific and systematic. So you don't, you're not all over the page, you know, trying to do many, many, many different things. So if it's jumping jacks, then we have to train specific to the jumping jack, but we break it down into smaller pieces. So I'm going to stand over here so you can see me as I go to this side. If you get your pelvic floor on, that is always key, and then you just step a small step out to the side. Are you going to leak? Remember, stay below your threshold. Crashing through your threshold means you're leaking. We want to stay below that because that way your body will trust that you're actually going to make a change. So you step out to the side, pelvic floor is on, pelvic floor is on before that foot hits the ground. Do you feel like you're going to leak? No, this is like nothing. I could do this all day. It's not doing anything. It's not enough. We need something somewhat challenging. So now, what if you took a bigger step, bigger step out there? Now you're opening up pelvic floor a little bit more. It's a little bit more challenging for those muscles to, to squeeze enough to keep you dry. So if this is enough of a challenge, this is where you stay. Remember, pelvic floor is on before your foot hits the ground. If it's not quite enough, but you think it's close, maybe add a little bit more impact. So get a little bit harder of a step on that floor. It makes it more challenging for the pelvic floor. So start with those, do them both sides, find your threshold, stay just under it. So you're not leaking, but you're challenged enough. 10 times, couple of sets. Do that for at least a couple of weeks. And then we would increase the challenge of that to like small jacks, you know? and then bigger jacks, and that would be a progression, but you stay with something for at least one to two weeks, try the next step out. If it's too challenging, nope, go back and keep strengthening. You just need a little bit more time. 